Joining me this morning in the Whale Studio is Jerry Corey. She's the coordinator for the Green Apple Fest. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. You know, we love the Village of Green. We have a lot of listeners out there. I know a lot of people from the Village that have done events throughout the years. Talk to us about the Green Apple Fest. Yes, we have our 30th annual Green Apple Fest. They've been doing it for 30 years now. It started with two couples starting the Green Apple Fest, which literally fit in size of the ball flats uh, scout house, and now it's grown to the whole ball flats. And Jerry, tell us the hours. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And let's talk about some of the events going on. Yes, well, as always, we have entertainment there. Uh, ben Rounds is hosting us for the entertainment. We have uh, the Purple Lady is entertaining. The Area Green uh, Community Band is entertaining. And then in addition to that, this year, first time we have a scarecrow contest. So people go ahead and get your creativity going. We have a scarecrow contest. Free to enter. We ask for a food donation to the food pantry. Not necessary. So even if you can't enter, please come uh, vote on them. It's a people's choice sort of award. And we always tell people, and I'm sure you agree, that you know you don't have to be a resident of the Village of Green to come up and enjoy the Apple Fest. Absolutely not. We pull people from all over the southern tier of St. New York. We have crafters coming from Pennsylvania. Far up is like Watertown, and it's one of the events. They estimate over 10,000 people come to the That sounds like a lot of fun. It really does. Information as far as people want to know, maybe a website or Facebook page you have all of that? Yes, we do. We have a Facebook page. It's called the Green Apple Fest. Mm -hmm. Um, In addition, the website is www.fumc for the First United Methodist Church Green. Mm -hmm. And then there's a link there for the Apple Fest. And don't forget, Green is spelled G-R-E-E-N-E. There's an E in the end of that. Yes. And of course, I'm sure there's going to be some delicious apple treats there, right? We are. In fact, actually, there's a big crew at the, the Methodist Church now, baking pies. Uh, we peeled a bunch of uh, apples yesterday. So in addition to the pies, which is like 900 pies, wow. so including apples, of course, we got strawberry rhubarb, blueberry, and cherry, and just plain strawberry if you don't really like the strawberry rhubarb. We have apple dumplings. We have sour apple cotton candy. We have apple crisps. But in addition, if you're not an apple person, we also have barbecue pork, chicken barbecues done by the lions. We have sweet sausages, french fries. So Jerry, is this laid out like in just one long strip or when people people get up there in Greenham for the benefit of those who are traveling up there? No, it encompasses uh, what we, it's our community park. It's called the Ball Flats in Green. It's right next to the river and stuff. There's a concession stand, which will have three different stations in it. Um, and there'll be the front line will be pretty much the food vendors with the entertainment there and then there will be strips of the crafters but in addition to the crafters we also have a kids zone which is the second year we're having a kids zone so it's a family friendly event we encourage everyone to bring their families the kids zones will have bouncy houses kids activities kids crafts I think they're having door prizes with the bike and stuff other additional items this year so a lot of fun things going on nine to four this Saturday right in the village of green and uh, you know I always look forward to the the fall festivals that people have uh, in our communities there's so many great little areas and green is another one of those places so anything in closing jerry you want to tell the listeners uh, about the apple fest no just check us out on our facebook page and make sure to come join us again this saturday and we look forward to everyone coming we're we're hoping for great weather and it's a great family fun event uh free entertainment and there is free parking at the great american with a free shuttle bus to the ball flats so don't worry about trying to find parking and you have to walk to the ball flats and i encourage those of you who have never been here are just looking for something to do this weekend. Come on out to the Village of Green. Enjoy the Apple Fest. Jerry, thank you so much for coming in and talking with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.